welcome back to a very short episode of my Luton Town Youth Squad series. Um, it's the beginning of a new season. We are in the Premiership and I'm going to be looking at transfers in and out. So let's start with my current team. I'm looking at my goalkeepers and my defence and seeing which players just don't have what it takes to be my squad anymore. I've got nothing against my two goalkeepers that I've put out on transfer list. It's just I've got two fantastic younger players that have replaced them. Same thing with a lot of my defenders. I really do like this squad, but I need to take it up the next step to get anywhere near Europe, to get anywhere near the Premiership title, to get anywhere near finishing off this series. So, as you can see, I am looking at my centre-backs, my left-backs and my right-backs. Um, just seeing where I need to improve. I don't think I really need to improve too much on my right backs, and I like Tong as my main left back. So we get an offer for Wilson. Now this episode will purely be on offers, uh, again transfers, um, a few players that I'm looking at to sign in. I'm going to look at a lot of uh, free transfers. Um, as you see there I've got 19 mil to spend but not much on wages so I'm hoping to spend a huge amount of that money on one player. Um, a player that I've been trying to sign for a few seasons now is Ibrahimovic's uh, his regen. Um, he's playing at PSG still. The only issue is there are now three regenerated strikers from Sweden playing for PSG and they all look the same. They all look like they're the same player. So I don't know if my FIFA 15 has glitched out again and there's now three Ebers playing. One's worth about 60 mil, the other one's worth about 10 and the other one's worth half a mil. Uh, and again, they are all different ages, so they've obviously improved over the years. As you saw moments ago, I had a ridiculous offer for Tong. Unfortunately, I am not selling him. He is one of my key players. He's been there since League 2. He was one of my first ever signings. He reminds me of me as a left back and there's no chance of me selling him. So we move on to a couple of friendlies. Again, I'm going to quickly skip these ones. I win 1-0 in the first game. Big whoop, they're friendly, nothing matters. It's not like it's FIFA 16 when you actually earn more money for the better you do in friendlies. So again, I'm going to quickly go through this and as you can see on the right there, I'm literally just going through the players I don't want to sell and the players I do want to sell just so people don't bid for players I don't want to lose out on. Players like Andy Nolan, I couldn't decide on if I wanted a loan out or not. Um, I think I actually decided to loan him out purely for the fact he's young and I've got a lot of players in his position so he won't play that many games. Uh, moving on to the second friendly game, we end up losing this game 1-0. Um, there you go, these are the players that I'm going to be looking at as free agents. There's five of them that I actually sign. My squad becomes too big so I can't actually sign the last player. It's not too much of an issue because um, I don't think they will last too long in my Luton squad. Again, they were free agents. Um, if I can sell them, if I can sell them in in January for half a mil each, then I'll be happy. Apart from that, I don't think they'll be starting eleven anytime soon. Um, there you go. That's a guy that I couldn't sign, unfortunately. So we move on to I think this is a third friendly, and I think we lose this game again one nil. No, we win this game 4-1. Correct myself. Um, and there you go. Stoke go crazy trying to sign my backup left back. Um, they ask for a, like, just under a half a mil. I ask for just over a mil. Um, I then ask for nine. And they ask for seven. So it's it's a bit of uh, haggling between them. I think, yeah, there you go. I accept seven and a half or 7.50. Um, yeah, he's worth more, but I just want a little bit more money. He's never going to play for me as a main left back. Ashley Boyce, I don't really want to sell you. Um, if Bayer want to offer me a mil for him, then I will sell him. Otherwise, he will stay with me. Um, I think he's good enough to stick around. Again, I did say in a few episodes back about possibly selling him, but I think maybe a loan might be the best thing for him. Um, so yeah, basically that is all you're going to see from me in this episode. I'm recording this at half past one in the morning, so I'm a little bit tired. Next week you will see the end of the transfer window, the game against Sunderland, and pretty much the start of 
the Premiership again for us. And let's hope for a high mid-table. Let's go for 8th. Let's go for 7th. Who knows? Let's go for... God damn, let's go for Euro European... You know, go 5th. Or win the FA Cup and go through to the Europas. Who cares? We want European trophies. We want to win the Premiership. This is a season when things happen. So looking at the players that I've signed on free transfers, they're all high 60s, which are great. But again, I'm looking at mid 70s for this squad, so they probably won't be playing for us. I'll catch you next week, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, hit that like button, leave some feedback, and if you're new, why not sub to me?